Here's an application problem from example three. It says medical professionals recommend that patients have a cholesterol level below 200 milligrams per deciliter of blood and a triglyceride level is below 150 milligrams per liter per, per deciliter, milligrams per deciliter. Write and graph a system of inequalities that represent the range of cholesterol values C and triglyceride levels T. Well, it's pretty straightforward here. I want C to be my cholesterol. I want that to be low 200. So I'm going to say C is going to be less than 200. My triglycerides, I want to be below 150. So T is less than 150. Notice since I'm measuring things in my blood, it can't be negative. So without saying it, I'm saying C has to be greater than or equal to zero and T has to be greater than or equal to zero. I'm not going to consider that when I graph it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put C, I'm going to put my cholesterol on the x-axis. And I want to go up to 200. So what I think I'll do is let's count by 50s. So 0, 50, 100, 150, 200. Okay. And so what happens is, since I'm doing C for cholesterol, I'm going to put a dashed line going through 200, and that's going to be vertical. And I'm going to shade to the left of that. Once again, I'm only con concerned about my positive region for that. And then I'll do, I'll put T on my Y axis. And once again, I think I'll count by 50s. I could count by something smaller if I wanted to, but I'll think I'll go 50s. So here's 0, 50, 100, 150. So I'll make a dashed line going through that region. And I want to be less than that, so that would be below, whoops, there we go, below your line. And so the part that I'm inter interested in, that'll be double shaded, would be this little area right here. There is your double shaded region. I'd have this other region here too. But my solution is going to be right here. That's all you have to do on a question like that.